Tell your friends. Videos. Everybody and welcome to Shit Games for Wankers. Worst games ever. Worst games, Worst ever. games ever. It's a show where we play terrible games, um, and this one it's kind Shuffling of a controversial. In, this one's kind of a controversial one, Peter. Mm -hmm. uh, in that we're playing Mass Effect Andromeda. What? Which is a very recent game, a game that got mixed to good reviews, but worst games ever. Worst, oh, hot fresh science facts. Oh. Oh. So it's not, it's not traditionally a bad game, no. but it is worse than most. The reason it's here, I've prepared a little statement before people get mad. Um, people are already mad. We've we've played a hell of a lot worse, <clears throat> but for its hype, for which it did win a Golden Joystick Award, it won for a, anticipation. An award for anticipation. Its scale, budget developer, publisher, and it being part of the massive franchise that is Mass Effect, mm -hmm. it is definitely a real stinker. Yeah. Um, it's, still kind of, it's, it's still buggy in its current day state, uh, but it was totally unacceptable in uh, the state that it launched. Which in. is how we're playing it. Which is how we're playing it, unpatched. So there's a lot of caveats and uh, a few, you know that bit in Aladdin where he gets like 10 Yeah, fingers. one, two, three, four. There are a few, blah, blah, blah. There are a few uh, provisos, a, a couple of quid pro quo. Yeah. Uh, so we're playing it unpatched. Uh, we're saying it's not literally one of the worst games ever. But it is a bad, it's, it's worse than most. Relative to hype and budget and how much it was beloved and mm -hmm. yeah, and all that kind of thing. Real hardcore Bioware Mass Effect fans will definitely still enjoy the current day product, which by all accounts is a lot better now after several patches. Get so on the floor. we've got that all out of the way. Uh, I'm Ben. I'm Peter. Uh, I am this week's games master. Which means that I am today's games victim. I'm just going to slide that along to you there. Ben, yes. how come we don't have the box art on the table? It's because, Peter, this was a promo copy that I received at the time of launch and has been sitting in a clear plastic case in my house where I live. That's the thing when you're in the press business. The press business. Sometimes you get really nice, sexy collector's editions to open on screen. Yeah, I don't know where the box is, actually. It's over there. But somewhere. a lot of the time you get a little clear plastic little cases clear plastic case. with a little disc on it that's got like a red label. Yeah. yeah. Not for resale. No. Not Do for resale. Not sell it again to anybody. <laughs> Now you may notice we're not joined by our usual array of friends. That's because the portal goblin, this is going to seem very weird to newcomers to this, this video series, yeah. uh, has taken them all and held them to ransom. Mm. And we can't Tom have Ransom. The, he's, no, that's a reference no one will understand, right, okay. apart from Tom Ransom, the human being that we both Award-winning director, Award Tom Award-winning director, Tom Ransom. Why did we continue to talk about it? Yeah. Right, so they are no longer here. Maybe they'll be returned after we finish this game through the portal where the man lives. We do, however, have the most uh, precious ones because they couldn't be taken through a portal because they'll break. They would break. Billy Clay Walrus. And Billy Ray Dolorous. Good. Right, let's begin this fucking game. Uh, also, as a side, uh, we did actually make a monster character for this. Yeah. Uh, here it is. She's beautiful. What was she called again? Um, Influenzog. Influenzog. And here's her brother. Yeah. Uh, Dave. Yeah. Uh, however, we think that like one of the biggest terrible things about this game at launch were, were its spatial things. Mm -hmm. And if we go in with like a horrible face character, yeah. then that's not really a good way of showing no, off. No, it's not really a good way of demonstrating the power of Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah. So let's do a quick start with Sarah Ryder. Sarah because she had the most fun expressions. She did. Off we go. Let me tell you about the Mass Effect Andromeda, Peter. Please do. The game begins within the Milky Way galaxy. Not the Andromeda the, galaxy. Not the Andromeda galaxy. Wow. During the 22nd century, okay. where humanity is planning to populate new home worlds in the Andromeda galaxy. By going there and having the sex. By going there and having the sex. Mm. As part of a strategy called the Andromeda Initiative, okay. the player assumes the role of either Scott or Sarah Ryder. Sarah. An inexperienced military recruit who joins the initiative and wakes up in, the, in Andromeda following a 630 34 year journey which we're just about to see yes and then all sorts of fun things happen and she you, goes yeah she does weird faces you run sideways up walls and things it's all great yeah it's great can't wait the thing i like the every most every great game, moment in our history began with a dream i'm sorry hello it's a very deep voice is that vin diesel I can't tell if that's engine noises or human beings. The thing I like the most about these character models that I've seen, Peter, in the animations, mm. is that they all appear to have Botox 
from the like the nose upwards. Right. So the only thing that's animated really tight are their mouths. Skin. Yeah. Foreheads unmoving, eyebrows unmoving. Mm. Look at this giant Phillips screwdriver. Yeah. Doesn't he present this morning with Holly Willoughby? Who? Phillips screwdriver. Shut up. No. In the year 2185, humanity lives in a golden era of interstellar travel. Fuck! Our discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled the info wars into a, a I'm sorry? being a reliable source of information. No, they've been banned from Twitter. They've been banned from Twitter for saying yeah. things like there's alien uh, there's an alien base on Mars and gay people are bad. That's the kind of I think it was more the second thing than oh, really? the first thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh fuck! Fuck Jesus, Jesus Christ! What if I've been standing there? It's like an electric car when you can't hear it coming. Just, <laughs> they're having to add sounds to them now. Can we because... get a little animation of that? Peter crossing the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he's dead. <laughs> what electric would... cars, the quiet menace. What, what sound would you add to your car so people can hear you coming? Um, I am coming. Yes. Constantly. Out of the acceleration, acceleration, Ex braking, 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 <laughs> reversing. Re I am turning left. God, look at that. Spaceship butt. Look at that giant gaping space butt. It's like Goatsy, but for spaceships, isn't it? I like it. I'm sorry. Goatsy, didn't he do, um, uh, now, now you're just somebody that I used to love. Goatsy, yeah. 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 Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there she is. There she is. I mean, she looks okay for now, but just you wait. <laughs> there's <laughs> lot. There's lots of... Just little, little flickers of... <laughs> As her shoulders move her AI is going independently wrong. of her hips. Not to call out beautiful British woman that is Natalie Dormer. Right. But I'm about so easy, doesn't it? I am about to call her out. Go on. When we did an interview with her for well we didn't, but what uh, culture? Former publication. Yeah, it was, in fact it was Simon Miller who did it. Simon It always makes it into these yeah. worst games episodes. Alright Natalie, it's me, Simon. Simon Miller did yeah. an interview with Natalie Dormer about this game. Yeah, he did. And she got her own alien species wrong. Yeah. They both referred to the species. I think Miller first said Ansari instead Ansari. of Ansari. And then she several times repeated the word Ansari. I think she said it first and then he I think he may have just been sort of going along. It would have been awkward if he if he'd said, Okay, so you're a Asari. You're a Asari. You're a Asari. Yeah, you're an Asari. Asari. Well, that's the thing, because then, then I had to edit that video, and every time they said Ansari, I had to put gameplay up to hide a cut where I cut out the ends. The end. Asari. 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 It sounds like they're, they're apologizing for sneezing. Asari. Asari. I hope not. Signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Checks out. Just the way people walk was sort of slightly. Slightly bow-legged. Yeah. Everyone's got rickets, rickets in this world. Yeah, they've not had enough so, vitamin D. Are you on life? Oh, that's nice. Assuming the She's juddering a bit as well, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, like Please before dialogue see. starts, they sort of go... We won't know for sure until we get you in the have a little tick. Oh, the eyes. What was happening? Oh my God, what's going on? She doesn't know where to look. Are they really explaining away her, her weird facial tics? By saying, oh, it's all right, it's because you've just woken up. Yeah, we'll get you some more coffee and then your face will stop looking like a weird person. Weirdest person. Okay. So. I think so. Are you okay? Hey, everyone okay? Oh my God, she's got the scariest Oh yeah, eye. she's the one with the walk, isn't she? This what, one. the Colin McGregor, Vince McMahon walk? Yeah. The power walk. Peter, did you know that this game was developed by Bioware? But I did, actually, yeah. not the actual Bioware that done the other Mass Effect games. This was a new team out of Montreal. What? And published by EA. It was released on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the personal computer on the 21st of March, 2017. Was it really? It was, yeah. Mm. Okay. I was watching the patched version being played last weekend. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that that's that's stupid. <laughs> that's really stupid. You can get a bit of Stavros flatly on the screen. <laughs> yeah. It's still, it's still a weird, it's still a weird running animation now. <laughs> yeah. They still sort of run like this, like they're, they're really top heavy. It's so bizarre. The legs just go, go in the direction of your thumbstick, no matter what. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> no matter what her momentum is. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you're, you're pointing your thumbstick that way, so we better. Glad to hear it. It's just the, Thanks, like the lack of animation just... around the eyes. <laughs> this guy's staring. Okay. This uh, this game, Peter, mm -hmm. it was announced in June 2015, but we didn't get any actual gameplay until about November 2016, with EA showing off screenshots and environment trailers exclusively during that time. 
Okay. So I remember when they announced it and every sort of event oh. that came up, video game event, we were hoping, oh my God. <laughs> her, her stair legs. <laughs> Come on. Like, do you know what I was about to say earlier when we were just looking at weird faces? I was like, people are still going to think... <laughs> People are still going <laughs> to complain in the comments and say, look, it's not that bad. But look, she's done an actual poo in her pants. Uh, so yeah, I remember anticipating every video game event that was coming up. Yeah. Because I thought maybe there'll be some Mass Effect Andromeda news and footage. And EA would say, we're working hard on Mass Effect Andromeda. And they would show like just a panoramic view of a planet. They wouldn't show anything. They right. wouldn't show anything for ages. Almost like it had a really troubled development cycle. It's not all bad. No, 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 definitely not. It's got redeemable factors. People still enjoyed this game, but it's just... Oh, there's another one. Should not have been released like this. No. Uh, and that's the issue here. You want, you want, these, uh, you want these known bugs? So yeah, known, I'm up for it. Uh, th these, aren't, these don't in even include the ones that people found. Right. Uh, some of the ones that people found, because Bioware were just sort of... They were, they were trying to fix a hole in a ship with a plaster, basically. Right. And that was a bit of an issue for them. So, known bugs during launch week, as well as the meme compilations of unmoving faces and weird animations. Mm. Attempting to run the game in 16x9 or 16x10 portrait display may cause the game to crash. Right. Uh, squad mates may repeatedly teleport on top of the player and may follow when told not to. Objects in space may rotate slowly or may appear jittery when using the right control stick. Okay. Repeatedly skipping opening, opening cinematics on the Remnant City Critical Path mission can cause Ryder to hang in mid-air. Oh no. We are aware of some areas where progression events may fail to trigger. Running in a zigzag pattern can result in Ryder entering an unintended animation state. Oh. That's something we need to try. Okay, well, we'll do that. Audio may stop during play. What? What? Closing and restarting the game will restore audio. Okay. Okay! Immediately creating a new rider after exiting a current playthrough can result in journal quest items carrying over and a number of bugs on the Hyperion. Journal quest items carrying over onto yeah. a new character. Onto a new character. Fuck's sake. Yeah, and that's just a few of them. The issue we have nowadays is that mm. when p games just used to go out on disc and consoles weren't connected to any kind of internet, um, you had to make sure those games were right. And okay, occasionally there would be games going out with like massive game game breaking yeah. glitches in there. But most of them would go out and they'd be like, all right. Yeah. You could play them without the sound dropping out halfway through a playthrough. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, this is just a typical example of like, we don't have to do like loads of bug testing because they'll just find it all in week one and it's okay. <laughs> I think it was also that they just didn't have the time. EA were probably pushing mm. them right to that to that release date and they couldn't yeah. do anything about it. <laughs> the weird giraffe neck she had a lot of the time. Did a bit of the planet just just disappear for a frame there? I think it just went... Oh, no, yeah, it just yeah, did yeah, it yeah, it did. Oh, God, the lip... Oh, wait. Oh, right. just, they're just big mouth shapes. Yeah. Hello! Peter, I need to speak to you immediately. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, hang on, no, I didn't do it right. Peter, I need to speak to you immediately. My palate's not like people have to. And then the eyes go... I never let him forget it. What's she looking at? The ceiling. She does a lot of that as well, doesn't she? They all do. They're all looking up all yeah. the time. What are you looking at? Her hair? <laughs> right, zigzags. Do it. <laughs> well, that's oh. not what I'm supposed to do. But Fuck's sake! That is also a thing. We've discovered Sarah this. Sarah Ryder, an <laughs> inexperienced military officer. <laughs> Fuck's sake. She's not in line skating. <laughs> She's a seal. Squeeps, squeeps. <laughs> this oh. is Mass Effect where your... Even your stupidest choices make all the difference. I'm not a big fan of wine. I can't believe you didn't say that. I do not trust you and I will not come with you on this mission. It's Kirkland, right? What was that? Yeah. Panning... What was that lip movement? <laughs> it was just the <laughs> same. Bip, 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 bip. Bip, 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 I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. Oh my god, <laughs> your brother's <laughs> strong! Never was an early riser. Oh god, the. the... <laughs> just don't let it get to cheek you. muscles did a little jiggle. I need yeah. you sharp. A little cheek jiggle. Yes, sir. Your mom would have been proud. Mom would have been proud. Both of you. What, of her son just sleeping? Yeah. Well done, son. Okay, team, Son's been a real disappointment so far. Well yeah. done on not dying in your comfy pod. Yeah. Not just because you're 
talented and passionate. But because your face is a weird. <laughs> yes, we're all a crew of weird people. Earth didn't want us. But this new planet might. It just um, might. My god, we're gonna... My god, we're gonna try. What a rousing speech to four people. You're meant to be in charge of all of the people here, and you're talking to four of them. Yeah. That looks like a player-created character it there. It does. She doesn't look like she's been designed no. by a person. He's a very sweaty man, isn't he? He's super greasy. Yeah. I just want to wipe him down. Clammy. Yeah. Oh god, her eyes and her face and everything. <laughs> oh good, the weird one's going in a different shape. Oh, oh fuck, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, stop the looking so eyes. weird. Ugh, oh, every time. There's there's spooky ships, look, that aren't human. Da, da, da. Will they attack? Oh! Yes, they will. Uh oh. That yeah. man is not phased, look at him, he's just sat there. Yeah, he's cool. Go on, hit everything, hit everything. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's just mild peril, the drop. Yeah. Oh, she's fine. Oh, she just used a little jetpack. Why didn't she use it again? No, oh. she's just going to fall down. Oh, look at the little snail plants there. They're yeah, fun. Yeah, little coily bastards. Lick it. Hmm. Oh no, it's brocked. Peter, you won't believe this. Yeah. But upon release, the Microsoft <laughs> Windows and PlayStation 4 versions of Mass Effect Andromeda received mixed or average reviews. Mixed or average? Yeah. Okay. However, the Xbox One version received generally favorable reviews. Did it? Yeah, from video game publications, according to review aggregator Metacritic. Oh, okay. Well, mixed. Mixed, yes. Mixed bag. But favourable, no. It's not a game that should be favoured. The, the problem think. is that we're, we're, there's no way we're going to even be able to scratch the surface in this short video. Yeah. But we've already, I like to think, demonstrated that there's some really wonky stuff in this Well, game. that's why I'm he kind of... He keeps hitting you. Where's he going I now? I don't know. That's why I kind of want to get into the gameplay, which we have now just done. Because, you know, finally we can at least show if there oh, are any... so fast. Did you know, Peter, that this game was later ranked the 26th best of 2017 by Eurogamer? 20... Well... I mean, how many games, like, mainstream AAA games came out in, in a it's single true. year? It is true. And 26 is not actually very good. Conversely, it also received several dishonours, including Worst Game That We Played from Giant Bomb. Okay. Oh. Boom. Trouble. A mystery to solve. <laughs> a mystery to solve. Shaggy and Scooby go that way, and me, Velma, and uh, Daphne will go the other way. Yes. Fred, you little player with yeah. your cravat. <gasps> oh no, it's a it's a clog. A clog? What's it, what, what's it called? I've never played this game. Uh, 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 Jeremy's. Who weirdly look more anatomically correct than some of the humans in this game. Yes. Expect the worst. Get hey, him. Hey, unknown. Oh, I would love if actually there was a diplomatic way to resolve this and you just ran in guns blazing. <laughs> yeah. This is the first time humans have engaged with these with this species and you're like, I'm going to fucking shoot them yeah, all. Yeah, you're mine. We're better than humans number one. I mean, we did get shot down by something, right? So it's, I think it's reasonable to assume... Or did we just crash because of the atmospheric conditions? We don't, got shot down. Don't know. Know. don't know. Don't know. He came all this way. Look at that. Heather just going through his body. Yeah. That's where it goes. Do you not know that? Yeah. You have a lady in Heather, it just goes right through. I mean, like, the developers knew that this would take place. This cut, this cut scene has to happen. So mm -hmm. maybe just, like, make sure that while nah. there's a close-up on his arm, don't let the plants nah. go through no, it. No, no, no. No, not at all. Why, why not? Oh, it's an invisible. Beasties. And it's dead. Oh, oh my it's God. really dead. Now, it's kind yeah, of thanks, overkill, bud. I think, there. What's he looking at? What's he looking at? You okay, you, bud? You okay? Bud? What are you doing? Hello? I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay. He seems to be okay. Why would I want to holster my weapon? You loon? No, you look way cooler with a gun. Yeah. That's what I like the most about this game is that it's got guns in it. Yeah. It's one of my favourite things. One of my favourite things about video games and media in, in general is guns. It's got guns in it. I like guns, me. Video games and media in general has guns in it. Has guns, yeah. I've got a pistol melee optimizer. Good. I'm taking it. You're pretty good at this, Ryder. Hello. 
Thanks. You're pretty good at that. What the fuck was that? He just walked straight up it all. Without, he just walked and he went like that without boosting. I'm not a fan of his voice. Yeah. He doesn't sound very space spaceman, does no. he? You're pretty good at this, Ryder. You're pretty good at this, Ryder. He sounds like he just sounds Rizzle like a man. Kicks or something. Yeah, he does. He just sounds like a man who works locally. Yeah. He's just local man. Yeah, local man. Yeah. Yeah, he, he really likes Nando's. Mm -hmm. And uh, going out, hanging out with his mates, watching yeah. the footy. Really good at this, Ryder. You're really good at this, Ryder. Yeah. It's like, yeah, he does sound like Rizzle. Kick. What a reference. He does. <laughs> he does sound like Rizzle. Kick. Yeah, he does. He sounds like he lives. Quite near Simon Miller, maybe. Yeah, somewhere on the south coast, maybe, somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Where the, the voice you're doing sounds a bit like Super Seducer. Oh, yeah. Super. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you like, like dog fighting and stuff? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Come a little bit closer to the camera, son. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, that animation was... Oh, she's fine. <laughs> Her legs just slid out from Whoop. underneath her. Can I jump on the mush? Mush. <laughs> Boing. Not if quite. you eat that, you you grow. Oh like... my god! I just vanished for a minute there. Did you? That's... I completely disappeared inside the mushroom. Peter. Yeah. Some more facts for you. Yeah. Boo -wee. Boo -wee. The aftermath of this video game's release saw all story, all all planned story DLC cancelled. Oh yeah, it did, didn't it? Any plans to see the continuation of the franchise under that new Bioware studio canned, mm -hmm. and sales dipping to nearly a fifth of what was predicted. They thought that they, it would sell about nine million in its lifetime. Oh. And I know it's been a year, but it's so far shipped two million. Okay. Um, and they thought it would sell six million in the first year. Oh, did so they? So it's not done very well at all. No, that's uh, tragic. I mean, in, in by those, I mean, selling a million copies of anything. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. And, but it is shipped. So that's all we know. Yeah. Uh, and I also think it was free on Plus, PlayStation Plus. So a lot of people had Yeah, it I think it way. was. Yeah. Uh, do you want some reviews? What do you think the Metacritic was for the PlayStation? Film? Oh, this is, see, I knew coming into this, it was going to be really hard to guess the Metacritic because... It's going to be a game with lots of reviews and Metacritic is chock full of weird websites you've never heard of giving things ridiculous review scores. Why is there a crab in a dome? Uh, that's Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. Right, but he's, but he's been here for 600 years of evolution. And he's Under turned. the dome. Darling, it's better. Under the dome. <laughs> um, I think it probably got yeah. like 60. It got, actually, it got higher than that. Yeah, well, yeah. It got 71. Why? Yeah. But you hear the you hear the review scores. I've got the, the top review score as usual and the lowest review score. It partly depends when they reviewed it as well. Like, you know, mm. some reviews go out within week one. Yeah. Some people would maybe wait longer. Well, the, this is the problem, and this is the issue that I have with Metacritic, is that it is full of a lot of websites that shouldn't have a say in a Metacritic score, in my opinion. Yeah. And because it was a very, very, you know, popular game. But also a controversial one. Yeah, a lot of people were playing it. Because it was a triple-A budget, you know, release game. Yeah. Everybody wanted to play it, everybody wanted Shit. to review it. So, we go to the top of the list, and, and the top review is from La PS4. La PS4. La PS4, which everyone is familiar with. A website yeah. everyone's familiar with. That French PlayStation website, La PS4. What score did they give it? Shit. Um... Sorry, is this the top one? Yeah. A hundred. Or like, you know. Wasn't a hundred. Not a hundred, but like 82. 90. Fuck. La PS4 gave it 90. And you can see what I mean about these websites being on here. Because when I read you the description or their summary <laughs> conclusion of their review, you will hear that and think, why the fuck did you give it a 90? Right. Bioware doesn't take risks and reuses already known elements and mechanics. And the result is a massive game with many hours of fun. Technical issues are obvious, although not so serious to burden five years of development work from a studio that has brought us great moments in the past and will keep doing it in the future. Andromeda exists to be thoroughly explored with that curiosity that fuels the initiative. It's not perfect, but it's without a doubt enjoyable. 90? Are you fucking joking? It's not perfect, but it's, it's enjoyable. enjoyable. 90%. 90 90! That's nearly a perfect game, you fucking loons! What are you doing? What did they give fucking Last of Us and Uncharted 4? 7 million! <laughs> probably I don't know this game is excellent it's one of the best games I've ever played and I really love uh, like looking after Ellie and killing zombies two. 20 percent <laughs> two out of ten <laughs> what are you doing La Pierce for it doesn't make sense your review system doesn't make sense maybe they they're confused about 
they're, they're rating how bad it is. It's ninety percent bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not all bad. Yeah, ninety percent of it is though. Yeah. Uh, the lowest review score. What do you think it got? Uh, this is from a website you will have heard. Of. Excluding the zeros, which were there any there zeros? There were no zeros. There oh, were no zeros. zeros. Okay, okay. No zeros. Um, from a website I will have heard of, the lowest score will be about uh, forty. Bang on the money. Yeah. Forty from Giant Bomb. Okay. It's also an utter mess in a technical sense. There are a few enjoyable moments here and there, and over time you, you can see the skeletal framework of a better game start to emerge, but given the heights Mass Effect has reached in the past, it's hard to believe that this is what we've been waiting five years yeah, for. Yeah, well, exactly. Uh, the user review score on Metacritic is about 4.9 on PlayStation really? 4. Really? Yeah, which I think is probably a more accurate yeah. review score for what it was when it launched. I know they patched it in and made it better, but mm. even so, it was so inexcusable. People were so disappointed. And it's just so fucking wonky. Yeah, you can see that there's, like, enough... There are things there, certain assets and certain gameplay mechanics. I like the boosting and the fucking... You know, the uh, zipping and the zopping. Yeah. And... Um, Natalie Dormer's great and everything. Yeah. You know, great. Um, it's great. But unfortunately, everyone looks like they fell into a jelly. Yeah. And then the jelly became their face, and now they're a jelly man. And they've got Woman. weird electro pads all over their face that are being having individual muscles stimulated yeah. at weird times. That's it. Just run around and press all the fucking buttons. Yeah, just follow the objective markers and press everything. Press all the buttons. Obviously, because it's such a massive game, we haven't been able to get too far into it. Massive game. Massive game. <laughs> but we have highlighted a few, just a few ridiculous things. And there are so many more. So, so many more. In fact, should we just roll a little compilation of Let's some of the, the launch week glitches that occurred for this video game? Just to prove it's worse than most. <laughs> go that's mass effect andromeda remember it's not a, not necessarily a fan game it's just worse than most and this was actually pretty worse than most it, it was. was kind of a diabolical state at launch oh and fucking hell <laughs> uh we've got a whole playlist playlist playlist, playlist of these yeah. uh, worst games episodes so make sure you you go back and watch some of those if you're if you're interested like share and subscribe tell your friends and uh fucking hell peter what will i be playing next time um Sorry, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, ben. Yeah. Next time. Yeah. You will be trying to hunt down uh -huh. Osama Bin Laden. Osama Bin Laden. Osama Bin Laden. Oh no. In America's ten most wanted. Jesus. No, he's not on there. I don't oh. think. Maybe uh, you play as Jesus. Uh, possibly. Yeah. Uh, this game is quite something. Okay. Well, I look forward to play. Oh my god. Do you? Oh. Do you feel that and see that? I, I do. Ah! 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 Oh my god, they're all back! Oh, Look. a happy family. Oh, oh, a piece of paper just came through as well. Did it? Dear, He's just covering up Billy's face. Dear, there. <laughs> censor it. Dear idiots, here are your what? stupid friends back. Again? All of them. Look at all of our stupid friends. They're all part of the walrus family. Stupid. Stupid really, friends. Really stupid. Yeah. I, d I, I was bored of looking after them. They were really, really obnoxious. I was bored of looking after them. Bored of, oh, look bored of looking okay. Come on, give me something. Didn't even... Bored of looking after them. Right. And so take them back. I want I want you to take them back for good. Okay. For good? For good. You're never gonna take them ever again. I think he was quoting take that and not really realising the, the the power of words there. Oh, okay. I don't think he truly meant that. But we'll see. He's a maniac. We'll we'll see, won't we? Is what he says there. Uh, uh, keep doing what you're doing and I'll be in touch soon. Don't you dare open that case with the worst game ever in it. Love, we won't. love the portal goblin. It's still up there on the shelf. Well, there we go. We got our friends back. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week for another episode of Worst Games Ever.
Jesus. Fucking hell. That's the wrong button. Bye. Bye. Bye.